All right, how's it going, everybody? Good to see you all. It's been kind of weird not having class. Um, living in strange times. But I guess we got to make the best of it as it comes. So, that said, this is what I'm doing. I'm um, I'm doing this here for you guys. This is me making videos. I have provided some notes for you guys. The assignment on the back, that's what will be due. So don't turn in the notes, just turn in the, the assignment on the back. So what, um, whether you just want to rip out the assignment page or um, uh, do it on a separate piece of paper, just make sure it's legible. I can see it. Uh, show all your work and there shouldn't be any problems. Now guys, this is not given a letter grade, so I'm not going to be going through and grading it for correctness, but I will be grading it for effort and completeness. Um, so if you're showing an effort, um, then you will you will pass this course um, if you are on the right track for that. I've, I've emailed, well, I didn't email, but I've included in some of you guys' packets. Um, if you were trailing behind, I've given you some additional assignments that you can catch up with. Um, those will be done, will be due at the end of, uh, well, let's say mid-May. So bring those in in a uh, mid-May, and then I'll have some time to grade those, and uh, uh, hopefully you get some credit for the class. So again, you guys, uh, the we're just doing pass-fail um, for the semester grade. So you'll be receiving credit if you pass. You will not receive credit if you if you fail. Um, if you pass, then you won't have to take geometry again next year. If you fail, then you will have to take it again next year. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. This is uh, the next chapter, areas of all different types of shapes. So I have here the, uh, the page. Um, I'm going to try my best to fit everything into these boxes. I know it's kind of small, um, uh, just an issue with the copy machine. So let's go ahead and fill out the first theorem right here. This is theorem 7-1, the area of a rectangle, area of a rectangle. Okay, a rectangle is going to be equal to base times height. So we have a rectangle here. Pretty simple. Uh, I think you all should be familiar with that. Rectangles are simply base times height. And they're going to have those right angles. So whatever your base is, you multiply it by the height, then you'll get the area. Okay. Next one, theorem 7-2 is the area of a parallelogram of a parallelogram okay so here we have a, um, a parallelogram it's kind of like a slanted rectangle okay the area is going to be the product of the base and the corresponding height so it's still going to be base times height so it's going to be the base Corresponding height is literally just the, the height from the, from the top to the bottom and make a right angle. That'll be your height. This can either be inside the parallelogram or it can be outside, just like that. So the height's either there or it's here. Okay. Um, so that's what this says right here. It's that the base of a parallelogram is any of its sides. The corresponding altitude or the height is a segment perpendicular to the line containing that base. Okay, the height is the length of an altitude. Okay, so these are altitudes. It's just from the top to the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead and f find the area of a parallelogram. Find the par area of each parallelogram. Okay, so uh, we know what the base is. So let's go area equals base times height. The base here is five. That's the bottom, right? Now, is the height going to be 4.5 or is it going to be 4? Okay, well, I know that the height must be, it must form a right angle with the base. So it's just a top down. It's, you just take, imagine like a piece of string, you just drop it from the top, go straight down. That'll be your height. So this will be 5 times 4. 
So our area here is going to be 20 inches squared. All right, very well. All right, next one, um, we have this parallelogram. So again, this is going to be base times height. I can see my base right here is two centimeters. Okay, so that's two. Now I think, is this my height? No, that's not up down. This is my height, that's up down, so that's 3.5. So my height here is going to be seven centimeters squared. Very cool. Let's just move on. Um, you can try these check understandings if you want. I'm not. I'm just going to move on ahead. Example 2. Find the area in the coordinate plane. We want to find the area of this parallelogram with the given vertices. Um, so this is this type of problem. This is what they'll give you. They'll just give you that. So you need to plot. You need to plot these points. So that's what they did. They graphed it. Then they chose this as the base, PQ. So we know the area is equal to base times height. The distance from P to Q is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So PQ is going to be 5. And then my height, okay, that's going to be my straight up and down segment. S, the point S to the base, PQ, would be 3 units. So that's times 3. So my area here is going to be 15, and there's no units, so I'll just say units squared. Alright, so there's another check understanding. Let's go ahead and flip the page here. Alright, so finding the missing dimension. Okay, so we have a parallelogram here. Um, looks like you have A, B, C, D, find C, F. Where is C, F? Oh, it's up here. Okay, so find that to the nearest tenth. Okay, so first we want to find the area of the parallelogram. Then we'll use the area formula a second time to find C, F. All right, so let's go ahead and find the area. Okay, so I know that area is equal to base times height. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my base. My base here is 10 units. My height is 12 units. So the area of the parallelogram is going to be 120 inches squared. So this, this shaded area is 120 inches squared. Okay, and then I'll use the formula again. This time I'm going to plug in area. Um, I have a second base here, so think of this thing as like it's turned around, it's rotated. This would be your new base, so that's 13, and I want to find out what my height is based upon that, so I'm going to plug in CF. I don't know what that is, that's what I'm solving for. So to solve for this, I need to divide by 13, so CF is equal to 120 divided by 13, and that equals about... 9.2 inches. So the missing uh, leg here, CF, was 9.2 inches. All right. I'm going to stop this recording um, so that we can move on to objective two. I'm going to split these videos up by object objective. All right. Thanks. See you guys.